Oh dear teacher, I'm going to talk about the introduction of the film. The film is called The Cloud, The Other Poets. His director is Peter Weir. He is 73 years old. Uh, his famous uh, films are Without Fate of the Light, The Freedom, The Club, The Other Poets. Um, and the main character is Robin Williams as uh, Peter Keating in the movie. Um, his short biography about the Robin Williams is he only child. Uh, he only child. He's born in Chicago, New York. Um, he studies in the prestigious uh, Julian uh, schools in New York. Uh, he trained uh, some comedies in the in this school. Um, also, um, he interpreted uh, his big debut in the version of Popeye. For this reason, some actors and some directors uh, called him for interpreting uh, in, another, in another films uh, such as uh, Robin Hood, uh, the, the Peter Pan, uh, the Fisher King, etc. Uh, but uh, Robin Williams uh, in was uh, interpreted in uh, is a natural comedy. Um, therefore, the film is an um, uh, introduction uh, with a passion, poetry, comedy, and tragedy because when I write the language literature teacher, he teach the students uh, these situations over them. Uh, also, the movie is wonderful and uh, and this and this and this history because the students learn about the life but not uh, just uh, to learn about the typical uh, subjects or typical topics about the the skirt um, I hope a uh, do you enjoy this movie, teacher? And maybe uh, continue to see the synopsis and the conclusion. That's it. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> the Poet Society is developed in Welcome Academy, which has a competitive educational system. However, with the beginning of the new semester, arrived a new literature teacher, John Kitty former student of Welton Academy. John has an opposite point of view about teaching. He wants that his students be what they are really are inside. So he teaches them a motto, Carpe Bien, that means seize the day. In his classes, he uses techniques related with life, freedom, and how to be themselves. Four students, Neil, Knox, Scott, and Charlie, are interested in knowing who their teacher is. They discover through the yearbook of his promotion that he was a member of Death's Poet Club, which was a group that met in an Indian cave and was dedicated to write and read poetry. The group of friends decided to revive that club and are added three members more, Cameron, Stephen, and Gerald. They gather in the cave at night, and with the course of time, they feel free of prejudice of society, and there is no one that can oppress them. Neil finds his passion by acting, and Todd manages to lose shyness with poetry. However, Charlie, now as Luanda, writes an article in the Academy's magazine proposing the entrance of girls in the school, but in the name of Dead Sports Club. The director discovers him and he accepts the punishment, but he doesn't betray his friend. Neil, who always wanted to be an actor, in the back of his father auditions for a play and gets the main role. His father finds out 
and asks him to renounce the leading role hours before the performance. One way or another, Neil asks his friend and teacher congratulated him, but his father, very angry, takes out him, and in their house, he said that he is going to take him out of the academy, and he is going to send him to a military school so he can study medicine, and then he could do whatever he wants. Neil, unable to live with his father in transience, committed suicide. His friends think that his father is blamer of his death. On the contrary, Neil's father accuses Keating because he is trying to make them free thinkers. The authorities of the academy forces Todd, Knox and Charlie to sign a declaration blaming Keating who ends up fired. When the teacher leaves, all the students stand on their bench and say, Oh, Captain, my Captain. In conclusion, the film shows us our traditional school in which young people are obligated not to break the rules where parents who want the best for the children do not listen to them and impose what they want without knowing what the children want and think. Uh, Master Keating, uh, the teacher, wanted his students to be thinking people and to find a taste for literature and romanticism. There are teachers who lead us to think uh, differently for others. There are teachers so close and they do not let the imagination, the genuity, the creativity of the students. Um, but this, I am thinking as a student, as a future teacher, I think I never want to get there to be uh, that kind of teacher. I want my students to be as the master of the film said, free thinkers, that express what I think what they feel um, above all that they enjoy their education. Mm, the teacher also wants his students to find the meaning of carpet dim, that is a phrase of the movie, that meaning to take advantage of the moment and to find for their dreams. That what we should do, seek at every moment to achieve our dreams. Uh, this teacher show us that each person is free to express what they feel and follow their dreams. It doesn't matter if family members or a lover one disagree with your ideas or their ideas. Life is only lived once, so never give up your dreams or what you propose in your life because someday you will achieve it. He also uh, mentioned that um, education is not uh, transferring knowledge to the student, but also support him or, and trying to understand him to that he sees in the teacher not only a person who teach, but also uh, like a friend who supports him.